وہ عزب تلا ابراہیم ارب بہو بے کلے مات ان فاتم محل جسٹ ریمبر وین ابراہیم واز ٹیسٹڈ بائی ہز لارڈ بائی سو مینی بگ ٹیسٹ کلے مات ان سو مینی کمانڈس ون کمانڈ آفٹر دی ادر ون کمانڈ آفٹر دی ادر ون ٹیسٹ آفٹر دی ادر ون ٹریبولیشن آفٹر دی ادر فاتم محل And he fulfilled all of them. He cleared all of them. He was successful in all of them. The final was the demand of the sacrifice of the only son Ismail, which he begot after praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when that the only son of Ibrahim was 13 years old, and Ibrahim himself was 100 years old, then he was commanded to to sacrifice his only son and he didn't hesitate even in that test he was successful wa izil tala ibrahim rabbuhu bi kalimatin and remember when allah subhanahu wa taala tested ibrahim in so many very big tests fatambahu and he completed all of them qala inni ja'alu kalin nasi mama allah said to him I am going to make you and declare you the leader of all communities, leader of all humanity. Kala wa min zurniyati? He asked. And what about my progeny? Is this promise of you? Will it cover my progeny also? Kala la yana lo ahdi zalimin. Allah said, my promise doesn't cover, doesn't relate to those people who are unjust. Now this question, this answer has two aspects. Yes, to your progeny also, but not to the Zalimun from them. For your progeny also, the promise is there. Because after Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, Nabuwa, the Salah, they were reserved for, the, for his progeny. For 2000 years, in one line of his progeny. And then the last prophet, the final prophet, that the, he also came in his progeny so actually the promise was w- true with the progeny of ibrahim also but not from among those who were unjust who take to shirk who go astray they are not included in this problem in, in this promise why is jalal al-bayt a musabat al-linnas wa amna and remember when we declared the house the house that is the house of god kaaba kaabatullah baytullah Masabat al-Nilnas. We declared it to be a place of visiting, visitation and pilgrimage for the people. Wa amna. And a place of peace and security. Wa takhidu min maqam Ibrahim wa musalla. And we commanded the believers that the station of Ibrahim, you take it as a place of worship, of saying your prayers. Now what that means? The stone on which Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam stood when he was raising the walls of Kaaba. And it is said, the tradition goes, that as the walls were going up, the stone was also going up. Because there were no scaffoldings at the, on, in those times. So building such a high wall of Kaaba that needed something, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a stone. It's a miracle. But that stone is present even now, and after every tawaf, you know, Two rakat of prayer are said there, near that, that stone, that is the station of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. Some people think that Maqam Ibrahim means Makkah, where he, he lived, so that is the place of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. But you know most of the Mufassirin, they, are, they have the consensus, the, uh, the opinion is that it is that proper stone which is preserved till this day. وَاَحِدْنَا إِلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَعِيلِ And we take a promise, we took a promise and a covenant from Ibrahim and Ismail. أَنْ تَحْهِرَا بَيْتِيَا يَكِيُوْ Keep my house pure. لِلْتَائِفِينَ For those people who come here for circumambulation, for going round and round our house. وَالْعَاكِفِينَ Or those who retire here for meditation and for praying to me, etekaf, 
وَرُكْ عِ السُّجُودِ And for those who are bowing here before me, and for those who are prostrating here before me, whosoever comes to this house to pay a pilgrimage, to, to do tawaf, to do etikaf, to do qiyam and ruku and sujood, and say prayers, for them you keep this house clean. Clean apparently also. There shouldn't be any, you know, any garbage over there. And clean also from the dirt and from the dust of shirk. There should be tawheed. That is the inner cleanliness. وَإِسْقَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ جَلَ هَذَا بَلَدًا نَعْمِنَا And just recall, when Ibrahim said to Allah, he called Allah, invoked Allah, he prayed to Allah, رَبِّ جَلَ هَذَا بَلَدًا نَعْمِنَا O my Lord, keep this place, this city, this town, a place of peace and tranquility. وَرْزُقْ أَهْلَهُ مِنَ السَّمَرَاتِ And provide the people who live here with fruits, من آمن منهم بالله واليوم الآخر Those of them who believe in Allah and the last day قال ومن كفر Because you know previously when Hazrat Ibrahim said وَبِن ذُرِّيَّتِ What about my progeny? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لا ينال وحد الظالمين This promise of mine doesn't cover the unjust people Maybe they are your progeny but if they are unjust they will not be included in this promise so here Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam himself says, I'm not asking for those of my progeny who are disbelievers or who have gone astray, but those who keep to your faith, who have iman in you and in the hereafter, in the day of judgment, at least for them, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you provide them the peace, tranquility in this city, as well as provide them with the food through sending to them the fruits from all over the world. قَالَ وَمَنْ كَفَرَ Now Allah Ta'ala said, مَنْ كَفَرَ Whosoever takes to kufr, goes astray, فَأُمَتْتَهُ قَلِيلًا To him also I will grant something for this life. I shall grant them comforts. سُمَّ أَسْتَرْوَهُ إِلَىٰ عَذَابِ النَّارِ وَبِيَسَ الْمَسِيرِ And then I will compel him, compel them and drive them to the fire of hell. And verily, that is a very bad place, very bad to return, very bad destination.